Gwen Shotwell has helped shake up the aerospace industry. She is president and chief operating officer of SpaceX. From its beginnings as a small startup to industry giant, Shotwell has helped lead SpaceX as it cuts the cost of launching commercial and government payloads. Shotwell earned her bachelor's degree in mechanical engineering and a master's in applied mathematics at Northwestern University. She worked briefly for Chrysler, but her career in rocketry began in thermal engineering at Aerospace Corporation. Next came a job at a small rocket company before running into Elon Musk. Gwen Shotwell, who's out here somewhere. He offered Shotwell a job as VP of sales. It was 2002 and SpaceX had less than 10 other employees. SpaceX's current workhorse is the Falcon 9, which was first launched in 2010. It took four attempts before successfully reaching orbit with the company's first rocket, the Falcon 1. But by then, SpaceX was on a solid enough trajectory for NASA to award the company a $1.6 billion contract to resupply the International Space Station. In May 2012, SpaceX sent its new Dragon capsule into low Earth orbit. It was captured by the space station's Canadian robotic arm for a successful test docking. The first of 12 planned resupply missions began later that year. Shotwell says SpaceX eventually wants to turn around a first stage within 24 hours. She says the real savings will come when the turnaround is something like what happens with planes at an airport. In March 2017, SpaceX launched a Falcon 9 with a first stage that had been used before. That was a first in rocket history. Three months later, the company sent to the space station a Dragon spacecraft that had flown in an earlier mission. Yet another first. SpaceX and Shotwell have weathered some big failures, too. In June 2015, a steel strut snapped during flight, leading to a catastrophic explosion. Twelve months later, a Falcon 9 exploded during fueling. Shotwell says she was pretty devastated by the launch pad explosion because the cause was especially difficult to determine. But she says her general approach to setbacks is to help employees stay focused on standard problem-solving processes, to focus on understanding, analyzing, and fixing, as opposed to lamenting. In early 2018, SpaceX moved into new territory with a test launch of the Falcon Heavy, made up of three Falcon boosters strapped together. Following a spectacular launch, two of the three boosters returned to Earth safely, and the rocket launched one of Elon Musk's Teslas on a route to Mars. Shotwell and SpaceX have only big plans ahead. The company wants to start recovering fairings using big nets at sea. Further down the road may come the recovery of second stages, a much more difficult task technically. But no doubt the biggest next step, planned for late 2019, is the launch of astronauts to the space station. Shotwell is credited with being calm, collegial, and well-suited to survive in a tough job. She is very committed to carrying out Elon Musk's vision, and customers say she's steady and personable. A Northwestern alumni magazine calls her Rocket Ma'am, and quotes Shotwell describing herself as super stubborn. Most of all, she's an accomplished salesperson and dealmaker. And despite all the demands on her time, she supports STEM programs for young people. For outstanding leadership and innovation for space commercialization, for technical contributions to the design of reusable rockets, and for the promotion of STEM education, Gwen Shotwell is being honored with the Ralph Coates Rowe Medal.